Hey, what's up guys and welcome to another one of my videos where I show off my newest issues with Jet. Now, this time they're outside the package which I already threw away because I need to explain something. The last two, <coughs> excuse me, the last two issues that I got, out oh, those two, the one that had Wesley Snipes and Sinat Lathan on it, I discovered that there was a missing page, okay? It was a missing page, and I contacted the seller of this of that I, con I contacted the guy who sold me those magazines and he told me that he had no idea that a page was missing now you know I don't tolerate that shit where there's missing where I get a book or whatever and there's any missing or half or partially cut out pages I don't I hate that shit okay but this time I'm gonna let it slide because all that missing page was was that was a uh, um recipe for baked mac and cheese, but we make that almost every day anyway, so but yeah I'm, for now I'm gonna let it slide, but next time I'm taking action. Alright. I'm taking action next time. Anyway First of all, let's check out this one. The December 25, 1980 issue with Red Fox and his mom on the cover. Oh. Like always, there's a lot of interesting historical stuff here. Oh. White man held in death of black college co-ed. Kermit Smith? Wow, that's a weird name. And what's this? KKK watch? FBI investigating. Oops, I'm sorry. FBI investigating attacks on blacks in Cali. Okay, okay, can we all play together? Let's go. Damn. Oh, a lot of shit went down a long time ago towards blacks. I can tell you that right now. Here's the Red Fox story. And as you can see here, this is Red Fox's brother, Fred G. Sanford. I never knew he had a brother. Never knew he had a brother. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. And look at these two pictures of his 1956 and 1976 marriages. On the left. Oh, it doesn't even look that old. I mean, yet he's noticeably younger. And so, yeah. Okay. Black Senate in Atlanta caught in color barrier. And may I mention that I got this <coughs> issue just in time for Christmas, by the way. This is only like 15 days away now. It says a uh, black Santa is, doesn't take kindly to taking pictures with black kids. That's kind of oops. It's kind of messed up, if you ask me. That's really messed up. Man. In a world of ordinary cars, the thunder is still there. 
the Ford Thunderbird. 1981 Ford Thunderbird. Ha ha ha. Pretty sweet. If you lived in 1980. <coughs> A visit with the late Gary Coleman's grandparents. Okay. America is gapping with a foot tapping, rump slapping, arm flapping, the hand clapping, finger snapping, mind zapping, no time for napping, new album from the Gap Band. Gap Band 3, get you gapping, a funky new single that's making it happen. Burn rubber on me. <laughs> Does anyone remember that song? I do. Hmm. Look at that. <laughs> a hair care ad, a hair care product ad for. Wow. This old ass stuff. Shit. Oh, the record breaking fall tour. Holy shit. Percentage of blacks down in medical schools. Oh, that can't be good. It says <coughs> the numbers of blacks in medical schools increased a little from 3,456 in 1975 to 3,708 this year in 1980. However, the percentage of black students dropped from 6.2 to 5.7 percent. Wait a minute. Wait, you say the number of blacks increased, but the number of black students decreased? I don't get that. What's the difference? I don't, I don't get the difference. Aren't they the same thing? Like, unless you mean like black faculty, black teachers, principals, uh, well not principals, but uh, teachers, deans, uh, financial aid, staff, etc. Anyway. <coughs> Mm. Oh. Okay. Now get a load of what's on the next page. Oh. Now look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. Oh my God. Look at her. Oh. That is beautiful. That she is pretty. And look. She's wearing leather, uh, black leather boots too. <laughs> Woo! Looks like I received my Christmas present early this year. Whoa! That is fucking sexy. Cause that's like really rare for uh, um Jet Beauty of the Week to be wearing ankle boots like that. They should do that more often nowadays, like, well, with the, <coughs> with the Christmas-themed BLTWs. Now, I, I know they prefer to be barefooted, but they can still look as nice as this. By the way, I think I found something about this woman, Marta A. Bailey. I think she lives, ouch, I'm sorry, my head's itching. Okay, but yeah, <coughs> I think she lives right here in Chicago, she works somewhere, well, I'll give you the link to a video of her that I found on YouTube, but yeah, this is, this is a really lovely picture of her, wow, just one of a kind, you won't never find that anywhere else. Okay, more stuff. 
Yeah. Now comes middle time. Oh. You can tell by the way his ad looks that it is old. Like it's kind of like those TV commercials you may see. Um, it, yeah, it looks kind of, uh, you know, grainy-ish. It, it kind of looks a little bit like an art piece. So, yeah. Ah, next hurting. 1981 Jet Calendar. Yeah, that was well over 30 years ago. Yeah, we get the idea. Carefree curls, best in the world. John Lennon created black music creators with Beatles success. Now, personally, I, I don't really care for the Beatles. I never listen to any of their music. Although I do think my mother once had a she once had a Beatles tape. Soul Brothers Top Twenty. Hmm, ear candy. That's a really creative ad. Yeah. Sober is top 20 for December 25th, 1980. Oh, Shalimar. Yeah. I bet most of you didn't know that the sexy ass Jody Watley used to be part of that group. Well, if you don't follow that, especially you, Ali RXA7, <coughs> if you're watching this, I bet you didn't know she was part of that group. I bet you never even heard of that group. Okay. Doing a smooth, eh? <laughs> I see. Alright, now do it for this one. I'll be back with the next one. The May 11th, 1998 issue. Alright, I'm Taurus Wrangler, and until we meet again, take care.